Bird guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. This is our weekly message. No, not message. Conversation from your person. Sorry, guys. Ooh, brain went blah. It's so open conversation, whatever your person wants to talk about. Whatever the cards bring out, that's what we'll be talking about. This week, we're using Oracle of Visions, one of Allen Time Wellness's decks, and we'll be talking with the a Tattoo Tarot. Let's jump in. Let's see whose energy is the strongest for my Virgos this week. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you could check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You could check that one out and see if I was able to pick up the energy there. Let's see what your person is focused in on when it comes to you and your connection. <clears throat> it's from my Virgos, my Virgos, their person. Ooh, let's jump in. Virgos, what are we focused on? What are you focusing? Ooh, pop that one. Ah, we got somebody that's wanting to take a leap of faith. This is like the full card. Let's take a chance. Let's jump off of this little ledge and see if our wings will fly. Yes. So, somebody is definitely wanting to take a chance. Leap of faith with us. Oh, I love this. Guys, this is about being uh, a sanctuary for someone. Feeling a feeling of safety, nurturing, taking care of someone. It's also the one thing you'll see in the background is the unicorn. That unicorn's faith in humanity is being restored. <laughs> So, ooh, I like this. It brings in a I've got your back kind of energy. Let's take let's take a chance. I've got your back. I'll be there for you. I'll take care of everything. That kind of stuff. Oh, I love that. Virgos, let's see what um, Island Town Wellness will bring out. So somebody definitely wanting to take a chance and trying to reassure us that that you know they're there for us. Mm hmm Wanting to shelter us, nurture us. Got that protective energy going. Ooh, pop. Made with love, a gift from the heart, sentimental. An offering or contribution, trying new things, being there in support. Yes. One more standing with it. Rocking it. Being yourself confident, loud and proud, hitting the right note. Harmonious, concert and showing off. I'll be loud and proud. Oh. Be yourself, yes, being yourself, hitting a high note. Is there anything else that needed to come out, Virgo's person? We've got reckless, acting recklessly, getting lit, highly volatile relationship personality, using precautions and protection. There's another one standing with it. Sweetheart, romance, infatuated, want you back, according a gentleman. A surprise treating you well sorry saying they're sorry Ooh, guys okay so these two popping out the way that they did uh, this person most definitely this is gonna represent like the full sign of a redo a redo can I have another chance and this one would be I will be there I will take care of things I will show up I will be attentive <laughs> Definitely because they're they're bringing an apology. I'm sorry for acting recklessly in the past or just being having too much of a wall a wall up a, 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 on my heart and mind uh, in this in the connection before. Yeah, a little too guarded in bringing a wedge between us. So yeah, but this person is like ooh ooh. They definitely. Well, a great day, and they're coming at us with a lot of love here, made with love. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's get on talking. It's my Virgos. My Virgos. Hmm. Virgos person, talk to us. Let's do with this. Let's start over here on that. Taking a leap of faith. A great day. Give me another chance. Can we start over? <laughs> Did they start off on the wrong foot? Got the hair font. Ooh, building faith. But it's also bringing in a sense of commitment and loyalty to us. Mm -hmm. With that Taurus energy. Page of Wands energy. The Page of Wands uh, energy is a youthful, 
uncertainty about what to do, uncertainty about the future, standstill kind of energy. They are in pause mode for about a minute. Because all our ones are action cards. They'll go into action, but they're just not sure what to do right now. What to say, what to do, what, you know. So they're, But they are uncertain about things. They're, ah, the lover's card bringing in the commitment. Ooh, the commitment. This person definitely, they're uncertain. Uh, I don't think they're uncertain about their commitment to us. There, there would be more worried and uncertain that you would even want to with them. Mm -hmm. What else? Got the sun card. I want bring in the truth, clarity, healing also when we get the sun card. Mm. Bringing out the truth, seeing the truth of things and being honest out in the open with each other. Mm -hmm. Be yourself. Just be yourself because that, that one rocking it being yourself. Ooh, letting down their guard. Ooh, okay. Let's see. keep talking to us. What else? What else? Got a king of wands. Leo energy showing up, Virgo. But oh, that's on fire. Wanting to take the action. Like I said, we're getting them with a lot of passion, a lot of fire, and a lot of energy of wanting to bring it to us. Uh, you know, to actively come towards us. But right now, they might be in that little bit of a standstill with the page. They are without a doubt. They know what they want with that King of Wands energy. Ooh, but they are in a fight with a mental, emotional fight with their self. We got a Ten of Swords here. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords is about feeling... A lot of stress, feeling emotionally, mentally, and physically drained. But it's also where you've reached the end of something. There's no longer any doubt in your mind about what you want to leave in the past and move forward to. Most of the time we're moving forward to the sunrise, the horizon. A better horizon. What else is coming out? Yeah, they're wanting that Ten of Cups energy. Mm, ten of Cups energy with us. Heaven on Earth, bliss, success, happy home and hearth. This is an indication this person wants to build a life with us. Every area of their life with us. Coming in on the sweetheart. Got changed, death, Scorpio energy. Ooh, they have changed and transitioned. Oh, Three of Cups energy. Hang on to that one. No, let's talk about it right now. Let's talk about that Three of Cups energy. Clarify what you're saying with that Three of Cups. Oh, that was quick. Wishes and desires to bring joy into the connection. Mm. Balancing. Balancing. Uh -huh. They're also a crossroad, but also not to allow outer influences to sway them in the direction they're going. That Two of Swords energy is the inner struggle between your, your heart, your head, your logic, your emotions. Uh, just inner turmoil, and that's what's the, what the crossroad is, and it's learning to balance uh, without allowing outer circumstances or other people and their opinion to influence you. Then what do we have? Justice and Libra balance. So this person is definitely saying they've changed. They're wanting to bring joy. They want to celebrate this connection. To bring in that joy, that romance, mm -hmm, the happiness. That's their true wishes. Uh, to uh, let us know that they are making uncomfortable changes. They're coming out of their comfort zone with that um, Two of Swords energy. Learning new things. Learning new behaviors, new way of thinking and feeling. And they're saying this is the truth with that justice card. Mm. What else do you want to say? Is there anything else before we move on? Virgo. Pop. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, they want they definitely want to build something tangible with us. Mm-hmm. With the Ace of Pentacles, that's like sowing a new seed. Sometimes it can be you. You know, you're moving to a diff different location, doing something different. But it's, this person is saying they want to build something tangible. They're willing to show up from the, the first of it all the way to get us to the ten of it. The ten of cups. Heaven on earth, bless. Success in every area of life. 
Let's go ahead and pull up the cards. We'll get them talking on the bottom of the deck. We have a queen of pentacles. Oh, they want to invest some time and energy for real in nurturing this connection. It's Capricorn, Capricorn queen showing up. What's underneath her? Let's see. High Priestess, ooh, they definitely, because we got the Sun card also over here. With this one, they would be saying that they're ready to reveal things about themselves they wasn't ready and trying to hide before. But they're also saying we've got an intuitive connection. Mm -hmm. And Judgment card, that's the rebirth, the Phoenix energy, reinventing yourself. It's also a card, a harvest card of reaping the rewards of what you've sowed. And then evaluating. Do I want to keep sewing it? And your person is like, no, let's sew something different. I want to sew something different. I want to build something different with you. Up under that, what do we have? They got a lot of regrets. Feeling disappointed. Left behind. Mm -hmm. That's a card of grieving and mourning when you've lost something precious to you. Then we have a six of wands. They're feeling a little bit self-conscious. Mm-hmm self-conscious with that one but it's also a victory card it's about making progress and moving forward Ooh, okay let's hold the energy on this deck this is from a virgo's person virgo's let me shuffle around a little bit better virgo's virgo's okay hold the energy on that for virgo's let's get them talking guys using big mama deck come in on the hair font I'm going to show up. I want to build faith with you. I want you to have faith in me. It was never my intentions to hurt you. What else? What? Ooh. The negative thoughts are only making things worse. Mm -hmm. That's their ten of swords. They got a lot of negative thoughts. I'm not in a good place mentally and financially. Yeah. I'm worried that you have a bad opinion of me. Mm -hmm. Just a text from you is enough to put a smile on my face. Ooh, Virgos. What else? What else? Anything else? Yep. I was so unfair to you. Let's move them over to this King of Wands Leo energy. That big time motivation and inspiration to take some action towards us. You deserve so much more than I can give you. Oh. We need to talk, though. Mm -hmm. My heart is broken. Broken. Ooh, y'all know I was wanting to say it in present tense. My heart is breaking. My passion is burning so strong that I can't take it. Now, there's that King of Wands energy. I'm battling my inner demons. Mm. Over here on the death card. Transformation. What are we getting? I feel so self-conscious around you. Yep, that six of wands energy that was bringing spotlight energy makes you feel like everyone's looking at you and might not have a good opinion of you. I love and care for you more than you will ever know. Anything else for a guy's question? Ooh. Hang on, guys. We got one on the floor, but let me pull this one. I put up walls because I'm afraid of rejection. Afraid of rejection. Hopefully, I can get the one that hit the floor without bumping us around. Uh-oh. There's two. There are two, guys. Okay. What do we have? Ooh, they were evidently important to go flying. This connection is crazy. Crazy. In a good way. I hope you feel the same. <laughs> oh, guys. Guys, let's hold the energy on this deck. I'm going to rotate the message deck so I'll know which side of Big Mama to pull from next. We're going to go back to the tarot. Let's see if there's anything else they wanted to bring out. Is there anything else? Virgos. Ooh, pop. Dang, they got them flying on us, y'all. Mm -hmm. We got the judgment card again. Ooh. This person really does want another chance with us. And they are feeling bad for whatever, whatever they did. Yeah. 
Because, I mean, it's how much, because the bull is really <laughs> holding the book. It's like, whoa. Okay. They're feeling bad about uh, ruining the connection. Ooh, what else? Nine of Swords. Obsessive thinking. Needless stress and anxiety worry on that. They're feeling battle weary. Battling my inner demons. Mm -hmm. What else? They got a lot of regrets. Feeling disappointed like they're being left behind and losing something they really, really want. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's talk on that one for a minute. The Five of Cups energy. Virgo's person. Star card. Trying to hold out hope for the future with the Aquarius star card. The Emperor. Woo! Emperor is trying to look strong on the outside, but also get straight in your head a, a plan, a strategy of where are things going. Uh, so, yeah, they, they're needing just to get grounded with that one. The, you know, things feel very chaotic and confusing. With this one, also, I'm picking up, they may feel like we don't really want to hear their true feelings and thoughts that we may not be interested anymore. Oh, and that would be them struggling, coming out of their comfort zone, learn, you know, learning how to let go of old patterns, old habits, old ways of thinking. It is crossroad energy, but it, the, the swords are you battling within yourself between your heart and your mind. That monkey brain chatter and what your heart's telling you, you know. So, yeah, they just retrograde and going back over, they really want another chance. Them. Let's talk more on the judgment card because I'm picking up they, they it's almost like them saying T please tell me what you think of me. Tell me the truth of what you think of me. Six of Cups, card of nostalgia in the past, youthful uh, joy for energy. Uh, it sometimes can represent there's children involved. Sun card, oh, this person really wants to know the truth of what you think of them. Uh-huh, because they, they keep telling us they've changed. So they would be like, T tell me your real thoughts and your feelings about the past. Um, yeah, this is letting the guard down. It's a card of valor. It's courage, block, protect what's precious to you. And it's like I said, this person has a sense of they want to shield and protect you and nurture you with that card. And that brings in the valor card also. The moon, subconscious, subconscious fears, but patterns, mm. and the unknown. Ooh. And they definitely wish, uh, like I said, that we, we would share with them. We might not have been able to talk much to them before about our feelings. They might not have been willing to listen because they were so guarded. Uh, feeling uh, maybe like they would, they're being attacked or because they were under spotlight energy. What else? King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Showing up. Don't want to give up. Being persistent and stubborn. And to a wands, the young emperor standing there in a paused mode. Trying to get his bearings of where things are going. And then Knight of Cups energy. Wanting to offer their heart to his Pisces energy. So, guys, really, the, the only thing I'm picking up is that this person would really like to know your thoughts, your feelings about them from the past because they're, they're telling us they have changed. Oh, bottom of the deck, we've got the Six of Wands again, Spotlight Energy. There's the Judgment card. What do you think of me? Do you think and you have a bad opinion of me now? That kind of thing. So, yeah. But they're willing, they're, they would be willing at this point because they keep going, I've changed on that death Scorpio energy. They'd be willing to listen. They're open to open to hearing criticism. They're open to hearing truth right now. So yeah. Let's get on talking again. It's for my Virgos. If I can get my hands around the deck. Here we go. Let's come in on the judgment card. Talk to us. Huh? I'm always thinking of you. I'm struggling to open up to you. Yes. Here I go. 
I said I would never fall again. <laughs> Falling in love again. What else? What else? It's on the bottom, guys. I believe in you. Hint, I was so glad that you broke the ice and said hi. That assured me it was safe to approach you. Oh, they're like, say hey to me so I know you actually would want to hear me or see me or talk to me. Let's come in on their stress and anxiety that need less stress and anxiety. What do we got? Never doubt my love for you. What else, bro guys? It's time to get real. Mm -hmm. They want to get real now. No one will ever love you like I do. What else, bro guys? Pop. I'm afraid to reach out and contact you. Yeah, take, they're like, please, hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> reach out to me so I know you want to, to hear from me. I don't want our love to change. I don't want you to change. Let's come in on that uh, regrets, that mourning, grieving that you've lost something. The timing, the timing is not right. Wait, wait. Who was the wait? Oh, we've got end time. End time. Oh, what's going on with that? Bring it out. I would be lost without you. I would be lost without you. Ooh, hold on. We got one flying over here. Wait, there's one. You made me realize that I want more in life. My life is so messed up right now. Ooh, they almost get nervous at the thought of you really reaching out to them. It, it almost scares them. I worry that you've moved on and that you don't want me anymore. Is there anything else? Anything else? Mm -hmm. I feel like you're not sure about what you want. Ooh. Hold the energy on the deck. Virgos, let's get them to focus in on the deck. They would like to give you a final and closing message with. It's for my Virgos. Virgos. Oh, we're getting big, big guns, guys. Big guns. It's a conversation with counterpart. The light side of the deck. I'm, you know, I've got my hands all over the shadow decks, and there's no energy there because I just assumed <laughs> they were going to be talking in shadow. That's what I get for thinking, isn't it, guys? Ooh, there it goes pop. We wished upon the same star. I don't feel worthy of you. I want to spend my life with you. I believe in happily ever after because of you. I'm thinking about us. You're always in my dreams. You bring light to my darkness. I feel you here with me. The intensity of this connection allures and frightens me. Mm -hmm. Last one, guys. We're miles apart, but you're always in my heart. Oh, Virgos, guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you again next time. Bless be.